I'm uh, you. I, I don't know. It was you told me the thing where I screamed at somebody over the shoulder or something like. Oh, I was talking to fucking Cypher. Right. And uh, I was talking to, you know, I was giving advice about how to talk to girls talking over the shoulder um, as opposed to squaring up and talking to them to talking to them directly, which conveys to them that you think they're more important than you. When you lean in, you're talking and you're leaning in to hear you, your pot, your body posture is less important than her raising her voice. The dynamic that you're already setting yourself up to be abused because you're already starting to take and contort who you are to be with this woman. And I learned and that so, in the pickup artistry world. Yeah. Yeah. Like that was like a little tactic. You know, I, I learned yeah, there was yeah. a lot of tactics that work. Yeah. A lot of tactics. Yeah. But, but, but it don't it don't get to, it don't work to it the doesn't root get to the you, root. Right. And so you yeah, become you, like in your doing, soul. You're doing card tricks. You and when you learn the techniques, the techniques work. But you but you you it's a card trick. dude. You, need to you have ain't that doing real magic. You have to have that belief in yourself. And the confidence to to do all this stuff and to keep it going, because you can, yeah, kind of convince a girl for one night or two nights. But in the long run, are you really that guy? Are you really that dude? And that's the the part where it comes down to you believing who you are. So you that's also goes into taking the L where you go, am I willing to walk away from this because I genuinely believe that I could find someone else or something better? And that's the reason guys get stuck in shit for a long time, because they're afraid to leave because they go. God, I'm lucky to have this in the first place, or I worked so hard to. When I hear to those words, like, it hurts. <laughs> that hits home, like, Chris. Oh. Yeah, because because I because again, I'm coming from a place of you know I would have said that back in the day. Better wife, right. you know, better wife, happy, whatever that shit is. Happy I don't even know how to yeah, yeah. say that shit no more. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> but but um, when I see a guy saying those kind of things, I'm like, damn. And it's sometimes I'll even say it like in front of his girl. And his girl would be like, you know what? He's right. Mm. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Right. I'm like, see? Yeah. So I'm like trying to up. I'm like, this is what she wants, bro. In, in their face. And like, right, this right, is what right. She wants. And then she's like, I'm, this is yeah. many times. Where and the girl was like, see? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so often. Yeah. And that all the time, then all of a sudden she's looking at you sideways now, because why go with the dude that that you got to they got to learn it. <laughs> and this is the right, dude right. right there. This is the dude. He already got it. And a couple There's of no situations, training. it was touchdown. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's yeah, like well. if you, you know. But I, but that wasn't the intention. The intention was like, bro, I'm telling you. Right. Yeah. Oh, well. What was the mistake you kept making in relationships, Chris? <sighs> Probably the biggest one is not wanting to upset them. And, and, and for what mm. reason, you know, and it's like I it didn't even value. matter. Yeah, it didn't even matter what it was. Just I don't want you to be upset. Yeah, it's like I was. Now, did you think that that was your failure as a as a man or a failure as a mate? And is that why or was it just that you didn't want you didn't want to lose that if you felt like if I you know, man school 202 better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't.